time and time again. So um, something just doesn't make sense to you and something is obviously missing, but you're just trying to figure out what it is. So we, I mean, we recognise and we hope you do too as well and we assume you do because you're here on this webinar that weight loss is really important for overall health and it actually can help you um, prevent, can, maintaining a healthy weight can prevent you from um, many illnesses and, and even diseases because if you're overweight or sometimes if you're obese, you're at high risk of developing serious health problems including heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, breathing problems and certain types of cancers. So that's why maintaining a healthy weight is so, so important. And of course, it helps you feel good about yourself and give you more energy to enjoy life. Oh. Um, I seem to have lost you completely now, Naomi. No, Can I'm everybody here. see? Oh, okay. I'm just playing around. Okay. <laughs> um, so we want you to understand that there's so many factors which can cause stubborn weight that you might not have thought of. And we're going to talk about three main ones here to get you started. Uh, don't worry about the, the um, video, Naomi. Let's just keep on going. Okay. Okay. So... Um, let's talk about our first tip in our three steps to help you lose weight, lose stubborn weight, and that is cleansing. So why cleanse? Okay. So cleansing, we, we get it. Sometimes we can think of it as unnecessary because it's true. Our organs do filter themselves all the time. But in this era we live in, and I say this over and over again, we are constantly taking in toxins and other nasty stuff that our bodies are just not used to dealing with. Processed foods, uh, some of these sorts of things, unnatural body care products, pollutions, all these things we encounter is actually really new to us as a species and our bodies are not designed to filter these types of toxins out. So what happens is they accumulate which is really bad news for us and our health. And it doesn't allow our organs to excrete these toxins. So they build up and we start to see all sorts of health issues and in particular, um, stubborn weight in this instance. And I think, Naomi, don't you think most, so many people think of a cleanse or a detox in terms of deprivation, unfortunately. Uh, I think, you know, so many people have done these sort of shakes and, you know, um, juicing sort of detoxes. But there's another way you can do it that focuses on fabulous, delicious food, which is a great jumpstart for your health and boost your metabolism. Look, so, definitely, and, and, you know, doing those kind of cleanses, doing intense cleanses, doing, buying, you know, a 48-hour cleanse or a two-week cleanse from the supermarket or online, they actually can be more detrimental because cleansing is about, it's not about ridding, it's not about depriving you and then ridding your body of toxins because you can't actually do that. What it's about, it's about supporting all your elimination channels, supporting your bowel, supporting your liver, supporting your kidneys to work. I will give you an example. Sorry, this just came to mind. I just wanted to quickly touch on this. Um, you know, if you don't do it properly, things like your kidneys, and I've actually seen kidney failure when someone's actually been ridding their body full of toxins because they're not actually working on all the channels and doing it in a holistic way. So it's really important mm. that you do this whole food gentle cleansing. It support it supports your body to do its natural thing rather than forcing the body to do something it's not ready for. Do you know I actually ask my clients this question and it's quite telling. And I'll ask everybody on this webinar, how many people here have even taken one day, two days, three days, let alone three weeks? To put nothing in your body but delicious, whole, clean food. Because so, when you think about it that way, it's you know you can just imagine the buildup in our bodies uh, and, and and how much it would need a, a really good cleanse and a really good detox to work optimally and really start to shift that stuff and weight. And and even if because Naomi and I actually cleanse with our communities whenever we run 
our breakthrough program because even though we're really healthy and we feel good um, and you know because we've got we've got our toolbox and we know what we're doing in terms of our health and lifestyle once I cleanse I really realize that my normal state is not necessarily my optimal state because I just feel so fantastic and I see so many benefits when I when I cleanse and I bet it's the same for you Naomi totally totally right and I you know I know you know my normal state is is okay but I know it's not my optimal state I know my energy is not quite where it could be or I don't feel yeah. that bounce in my step or you might be more irritated with people all those kind of symptoms um, and you know, and I'm not me, eating I sugar every day, but I'm, yeah. you know, maybe I'm not having as many vegetables as I should. Maybe I'm having yeah. chocolates. Um, yeah. Even, yeah. So, and, and, and don't forget all the toxins in the environment. And so that yeah. means you, need, you need to support your body to get rid of those as well. So it, it, that's, you know, it's so important. And that is definitely one of the biggest factors when it comes to stubborn weight and just your overall well-being. Oh, I think it's a really good thing to just think of cleansing as a tune-up. You know, do it at least twice a year, um, preferably for three weeks at a time. And it's a fabulous way to supercharge your health and lose those stubborn kilos. So that's our tip number one, cleansing, okay? And I think um, with the tip number one at cleansing, I think, you know, the biggest thing is the greens, definitely the greens, foods, the salads, the green smoothies. And yes. so, you know, helping your body, supporting your body by doing things like dry skin brushing or oil pulling or infrared saunas or, you know, yoga. Yoga is fantastic because yoga pushes and pulls and puts, puts pressure in your, lymphatic, in your lymphatic areas. And your lymphatic areas are kind of, your lymphatic system helps to cleanse, you know, dead cells out, um, toxins out hormones out and so when you do yoga it's that action of um let me see let me just you know the at these are your lymphatic systems here they can connect to your lymph and so it's about that push and pull push and pull it's like a pump you need to be pumping the lymph around and that's why things like yoga and just getting those moving are so good for the whole lymphatic system because it's a, it's a big it's a very slow pump well, just to jump back, because you did mention green smoothies. So that I think in terms of cleansing, what you can all start to do, because it is a bit tricky to do it on your own if you're not sure what to do, let's just start with a green smoothie. That is a pretty easy thing to do. Um, ultimately, you want to work towards having less fruit in your smoothies, but if you're new to smoothies, um, it might be a little bit confronting to do that. So just throw in some mango and a banana if you need to. Throw in some beautiful greens like some baby spinach or some kale, some peels, cucumber, and throw in some, um, you know, nuts and seeds for protein and uh, some fat as well. And we'll talk a bit more about fat when we talk about our next tip, actually. But um, definitely just start, even if you just start to have a few green smoothies for breakfast, then this is going to help your cleansing process begin. And I have to say, Naomi, I just want to add something else in here. We, while you're introducing these, also just try and stop all forms of sugar and all flour products and all artificial sweeteners as well because these all cause increased cravings and they slow metabolism down and they lead to fat storage. But we do go into that in more detail in the Breakthrough Program, but just be mindful of those as well. So definitely, and, and wonderful, yes. And just um, those wonderful benefits that our um, members share with us, Naomi, the four most common results we see from cleansing are, no surprises here, weight loss. <laughs> Some members um, report losing up to seven kilos on the program. Um, great energy and more positivity. Uh, glowing skin, no bloating. There's other, other results that we hear yeah, about as well. Just like, adding those smooth, green smoothies in is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so there we go. That's tip number one. Hopefully that helps. Would you like <laughs> and to now we want to video again, Brenda, before we go on to the next tip? Yeah, absolutely. Ta -da. Oh, hey, how did you <laughs> fix that? I Hi, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you all. Oh, how did you fix that? I, Never I was mind. playing around. <laughs> Okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, so um, the next tip, do you want to talk about 
balancing it's, ba it's balancing your macronutrients this is my favorite tip and this isn't just my favorite tip for weight loss and stubborn weight this is my this is probably my favorite tip in terms of what you can do right now i mean brenda and i talk a lot about hormones and about stress but this is my favorite tip about what you can do right now if you're feeling anxious if you're feeling stressed if you're not feeling in control of your health if you don't know where to start if you've got stubborn weight this for me is just the simplest tip and this is the the best thing you can start doing and then obviously learning more about how to do it but balancing having three meals a day that are wonderfully balanced with your macronutrients um, obviously in the breakthrough program we go more into the macronutrients and how to balance them but you can just start you can start doing that and and have a look at what you eat each day start doing a food diary have a look at what you eat each day start thinking how do I feel after each meal after my breakfast how do I feel do I feel sustained do I feel good is it taking me through to lunch try and get off over snacking over snacking on sweet things and even try and get away from grazing all day and really be mindful of go, get getting back to those three beautiful meals a day that sustain you through the day, that nourish you through the day, balance your hormones and tell your body it's okay. You can lose weight if you want to, you know, it's, it, you can lose weight. Um, so balancing those macronutrients, your fats, your beautiful, good fats, your proteins, your carbohydrates, starch, your starchy carbs like sweet potato, and also having, you know, 50% green leafy vegetables, um, fibrous vegetables, salad vegetables that are full of your antioxidants, are full of fiber, um, which help with bowel, help with cleansing as well. Fiber is, you know, a master cleanser, helps really clean out the bowel. That's my, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I just think just doing that, it, it, you notice it quite quickly. Oh, you do. And look, I just want just to jump back because the, the actual tip that we want you guys to implement in terms of macronutrients is to make your plate 50% non-starchy vegetables, okay? Focus. This is going to make a big difference. We've seen so much success by just doing this one thing. Look at your plate, which needs to be made up of carbs, proteins, and, um, and fats, and have half of your plate with things like capsicum, cucumber, radishes, tomatoes, mushrooms, broccoli, um, cabbage, fennel, onions, they're your non-starchy carbs. So if you just do this one thing, it's such a great guide. It's full of great goodness. It's full of great fiber and it gets things moving and it really starts to shift that stubborn weight. And just one little note about fat, okay? I want you guys to remember that it's not fat that makes you fat. It's sugar that makes you fat. Fat actually makes you feel full. It makes you feel satiated. It balances your blood sugar. It gives fuel for your cells. It keeps your hormones humming. humming. It keeps your brain really healthy. So just remember every single meal ideally has fat, protein and those carbs. So the non-starchy carbs plus the starchy, a little bit of the starchy carbs, sweet potato, potato, that sort of thing. And then and the fats can be in the form of nuts and seeds. Um, lots of coconut products are great, like um, coconut oil, coconut milk, coconut cream. You can also have avocado, um, omega-3 fatty acids from fish, wild caught lime fish. So, yep. So half the plate with the I'm vegetables. Getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> I know it's lunchtime. And and on that note, what I've done, just to let you know, I pre-prepare. I've roasted some vegetables already. Okay, so I, I like to mix and we do recommend mixing raw with cooked food. I've got some leftover salad and I've got some leftover chicken. And all I have to do is throw that on a plate and put some dressing on it and have a little bit of avocado on the side. And that's my lunch. And there's 50%, if not more, to be honest. I mean, go for more. You've just got to listen to your body and see what works for you. So it does require some courage and tweaking and, and trial and error. That's the only thing that I would say for sure. Yeah, no, so I, I, think, I love that. Love that tip. And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge, once you get, once you do that, you know, I notice a difference. I notice a difference in my energy and how I feel. It, it was, for me, it was a game changer, complete game changer. And look, I have to say also my husband who, you know, he, over the Christmas holidays and everything, he did put on quite a bit of weight. 
um, because, you know, he likes to drink and he likes a bit of chocolate. Um, And he made a news resolution just to add in more salads. I know you find that really funny, Naomi, when I told you, but adding in more, oh my God, like he has trimmed off and he's feeling fantastic and he's feeling more energetic. It has made such a big difference just introducing that component yes and if you're unsure some of you are in the breakthrough program share your photos with us share your photos of your meal and for those that aren't you can you can take a photo of your lunch and you can share it on brenda's or my facebook page and say hey what are your thoughts on (laughs) what what are your thoughts on this don't don't be afraid to ask but the visuals are so important as well and you know just helping to tweak because you know i've seen it where people have got 50 percent steak and then they've got most of it then then carb and then they've got a couple of lettuce leaves on there and it's you know sometimes you just need to that visual to see and then tweak it around um to, to help you out if, if those of you that watch the um the webinar as well you would have seen a nice picture of of, of a balance of how, how it should look with all the vegetables but um but you know ask send photos post photos on the facebook wall that that's a that's a great thing to do but we do go into it quite in depth in the Breakthrough Program so that everybody can leave with the confidence to know how to create their own um, perfect meal for themselves. So, um, And so we can move on to the final tip. So, so far we've had um, cleansing and including, in, including a green smoothie into your routine plus getting rid of sugar and flour and artificial sweeteners. And um, now we're talking about half your plate being, you know, beautiful, non-starchy vegetables. And the third tip that we want to, and this one, this one's the big one for me because to me this one's make or break, and that is getting the right support when you are changing your diet and your lifestyle. Finding support for your weight loss efforts can literally mean the difference between success and failure. And I guess that's one of the reasons why we see so much success with Breakthrough is because of our amazing supportive Facebook group because studies actually actually show that it's crucial um, when it comes to weight loss or changing your diet and lifestyle to have accountability and that accountability is crucial to success. And we often see people fail because they just don't have the right support system and and unfortunately, we're told often that it's so, just so hard to get the husband on board. It's just so hard to get the kids on board. And that's a whole other um, topic for another webinar, I think. But what's really, you can, you, there's always a friend um, who you can reach out to who has the same goals as you to be a support buddy. Or like I said, um, if you prefer to be anonymous, then you can join an internet group. There's lots of groups. Um, Facebook groups that you can join for that sort of support and accountability. Um, and, and it's interesting, there's, there's some really um, interesting research into uh, obesity and being overweight that actually suggests that it's contagious. Being overweight or obese is contagious for lots of people and you're more likely to be overweight if your friends are overweight, more so than your family members which is quite incredible. Um, so I if, saw that study, yes. Did you see that study? So if by the nature of it that uh, being overweight is contagious, then being healthy is contagious. And actually, um, I, there's a, there was a social experiment that was done and um, it had people meet in small... I think it was conducted by Dr Hyman, which is so funny because we were just talking about him last night and wondering if anyone would ever marry Dr. Hyman, given the surname we'd have to adopt. So here he is again. I think he's the one that um, conducted this study. And it just found that the people who supported each other, um, helped each other, loved each other through their sort of weight loss process, they saw they lost double the amount of weight Mm. than the people who didn't have the support. So, you know, there's a case for finding a friend or joining a group. Yeah. Definitely. And again, we've talked about this before, just that interaction with your female friends, just the the oxytocin levels and the camaraderie, the motivation. And it helps with hesitation. And I don't know if you saw that Facebook video the other day about hesitation and actually hesitation is one of the biggest things to raise cortisol. As soon as we hesitate with something, it makes it puts us into a fight or flight can be anything, which way around should I put the cutlery on the table, but hesitation. 
And when you're with a group or when you're with your girlfriends or when you've got people supporting you, it actually helps to cut that hesitation out and it gives you just that more, it's, it's, it gives your body the state that you're actually in an, in an okay place. You're not in that fight or flight. You're more parasympathetic nervous system. So, you know, it's just so many benefits to, to, do, to doing that as a group and getting that, getting that motivation and the support and oh. your girlfriends join in. Totally, totally. So whether it's online or offline, just find find that support and you're going to increase your chances of success there. Yeah. So there are so many more tips, but, but these are the three, three that we wanted to share with you today. And we also just wanted to say, look, we hope that you feel like you can, you know, go away feeling inspired and motivated to start to implement those. But if you do feel like you need that extra support, we actually started our breakthrough program today and we've got about a hundred amazing like-minded women in there already. And they're all excited. Today is the day that we send out the first, um, cleansing booklet. There's actually over 75 recipes throughout the whole uh, breakthrough program, but they got their first week today and everybody is going to start to prepare so that everybody can start to cleanse, start cleansing yeah. together from next week. So it's a perfect time to, to join us if you're ready, if you feel like you need more support. And we have a lot more information in that program and we go into much more detail and we have some experts and webinars and Naomi and I are there pretty much 24-7 answering questions as they arise and, and just helping everyone out. Have so, we got any questions? Naomi, there's a few of you online. I'd love to know if you've got any questions. If you've, you know, got any questions about what we've talked about, got any questions about the program, um, anything else you wanted to you wanted to raise. Would love to would love to find out if you've got anything. We're here. Yeah, and I'll just pop the link for the breakthrough program if anyone was interested in joining. I dare say some of our breakthrough members are, are watching us in this webinar today as well so yeah please if you've got any no questions, no questions. <laughs> <laughs> so have you um, started that have you started that already have you started your i know this is the second time you've done this um kasha have you started doing the green smoothies yet i know you would have got your meal plan this morning but have you been doing the green smoothies or been conscious about balancing your macronutrients since doing the program last time i'd love to know uh, so um esther and rebecca kind of are asking a similar question wondering about how a few certain foods can be used balancing meals so it's actually a great question and i'm kind of i'm very much i eat the same things quite often i'm not a huge i don't i'm not always experimenting I'm, and i'm pretty much just I, I stick to my my go-to carb is sweet potato and also I, I do a bit of basmati rice as well just because I do like a bit of rice if I need a bit of carb so I I, I mean I have Esther I have my specific go-to's and I might use if I'm if I'm not if I'm not eating meat or it's during the day I'll have an egg to go to as my protein I always use my avocado half an avocado with my lunch or my breakfast as, as my fat and then I might have a little bit of pre-baked sweet potato um, at a push if I'm desperate and I haven't prepared I'm running behind I'm busy I'll go to my cupboard where I've got some canned kidney beans some canned chickpeas and I might have a couple of tablespoons of those to kind of bulk the the protein out but they're kind of my go-to and so what I do from there is I just create the meal in terms of what what will work for me what I know now will work for me which is half an avocado which would be a chicken thigh to go with that. And then would probably be for me half a cup um, of sweet potato or half a cup of, of kidney beans. And then lots and lots of leafy greens. So it was a question about what carbs are okay. So just remembering that those lentils and legumes are carby, they're starchy sort of carby as well. Quinoa, that's a good, you know, it's a complete protein. It's another healthy carb. Um, you know, pumpkin, it's higher in sugar, but sometimes I'll go for pumpkin as well as sweet potato. Um, what you want to be really avoiding in terms of carbs are the highly refined carbs, you know, mm. your, your breads and your pastas and, 
and, you know, your sugars and alcohol and all those sorts of things. So, um, Rebecca, um, yes, basmati rice is the lowest GI out of all the rices. Um, if you were to go with a rice. Yeah, it's easier to digest and it's lower G GI um, specific. Okay, but again, so look at the ratio. You know how if you were to have, say, a fried rice, that's really kind of normal fried rice is pretty much 90% carb. So what you would do is if you like the taste of fried rice and you make a nice fried rice at home, what you would do is you could either really double down on the vegetables or you would have half a cup of your nice tasty fried rice with some protein and some vegetables. So it doesn't mean you don't have to have these things that maybe you like the taste of or, you, or you're good at cooking them. You can still have them, but it's the ratio. It's creating that ratio balance is the key. Um, Kasia actually answered the green smoothie question and she usually does them a few times a week for lunch on the busy days. And see, that's the thing. They don't just have to be for breakfast. Um, or they can be for breakfast and, and lunch if you find that that will sustain you through the day. So that's a great idea, Kasia. Um, Esther, love your question. Love it. Um, lentils are primarily starch. Okay, so when you're having them, if you're a vegetarian, you're having lentils for protein, don't couple them with other starches. Couple them with some fat or couple them with some vegetables. And remember, you, you know, it's got a bit of protein in, higher protein than, say, rice or um, sweet potato. So it's a good protein source, but it is high carb. So just, just be aware of that when you're having lentils. Um, and also, Keisha's using this round of breakthrough for the education rather than just following the very yummy meal plan. That's a really great way to do it, actually. Um, you know, sometimes if you can't manage both at the same time, you know, it's great that you know that you might have the um, meal plans down pat now, the recipes or, you know, balancing your macronutrients, because we do have a lot of education in there. So welcome back to learn all about that. And if you need to get off coffee, is it okay? Yeah, it's okay to swap it for green tea if you really need a little bit of caffeine still in your diet while you're cleansing in order just to transition completely away from coffee. Green tea has a lot less caffeine than coffee mm. and it has a lot of benefits and antioxidants yeah. as well. But I'd like to see you try nice and to have a break wean from off it. that and maybe. <laughs> it's good to have a break. Yeah. <laughs> and what happens when grain free? What what do you mean, Keisha, what happens when grain free? Just pop your question oh, okay. there so again. No, I'm not quite Esther, sure. Esther, actually amino acid combining to get a complete protein doesn't actually, it, it's, is a, it, there is a school for thought there, but no, you don't need to be doing that. Um, you don't need to be doing the food combining, actually. New studies are showing. So I wouldn't combine, you don't need to combine lentils with rice. I would combine lentils with vegetables and you'll get the amino acids from your sauteed kale, your spinach, your, your other vegetables. If you start combining veg lentils with rice, you've got a very, very high starch. And it might be nice in, in winter to have a nice dal with some basmati rice as a thing you have in an Indian and that's what you're cooking. But as an everyday or a regular meal, it's not going to support any weight loss. And that's what we're sort of looking at. It's not going to support hormone balance because it is very high starch having those two, two foods together. Um, here's a problem. Sorry, Rattle. Oh, Rebecca, it's fine. That's what we're here for. No problem with the questions. Keep them coming. Um, Keisha, we have a very few grains. I soak brown roll basmati rice for the kids. Same here. But hubby and I don't have. Should I increase or put anything else in? No, you're fine. I mean, if you feel like you need more, I mean, if you're eating your sweet potato or your pumpkin or, um, or things like that, and you, it, just listen to your body and your body will tell you what you need. If you're feeling... It depends on your level of activity. We've also got, got to remember our personal needs. So, you know, if you feel like you need a little bit of um, a little bit of that soaked rice that you're giving your kids, then then give it mm. to yourself. But cleansing, we certainly take it out. You know, just for that three weeks of cleansing, we recommend taking it Are out. Are you answering Rebecca's question? No, okay, sure. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. So Rebecca asked, that they recommended different ratios for for general nutrition and then weight loss? Here's the thing, Rebecca, the, the, the ratios that you end up with actually will support your body to maintain weight loss. During the breakthrough program and what we recommend, we do cut carbs down a bit. And I'll tell you the reason we cut, carb down, cut, cut carbs down. 
starch down is because your body actually, when it stores the, when it turns to starch, starch gets turned into glucose and your body stores that and it stores it with water. So every glucose molecule that gets stored with glycogen, as glycogen in your body gets stored with water molecules. And what we essentially do when we're doing a cleanse, this breakthrough cleanse with whole food, we actually start releasing the water and the glycogen from storage. And you can actually then see a lot of puffiness, a lot of, a, a lot of release of weight and water weight. So it's good to do that occasionally, but an ongoing weight, weight sustaining diet will have a nice balance, balance ratios of the macronutrients. And that should also sustain your weight as well. But at the beginning, you may need to go lower on the starch. Um, let's have a look and see if there's some more questions. I'm just, let's have a look. Yes, um, Esther, like all types of lentils. My favorite actually is um, red lentils, gentle on the digestive system. They're, they're really super lentil, lentil. <laughs> <laughs> but still always soak them overnight. Um, always soak your, if you can, soak your lentils, soak your legumes, soak them in the thing. <laughs> well, you know, it just makes them much, much more easy. I to love dive. a good dal and kitchari as well. Like kitchari is quite high starch, but winter when you're mm. just ovulated, coming up to your period, and you just need a, you just need something that's just satisfying and warming. Kitchari is just beautiful. That's 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 a mung bean dal with with white rice. So high starch, but sometimes, you know, like we said. Yeah, it's all about balance, isn't it, Naomi? Um, how long is a breakthrough program? So it goes for 28 days with three weeks of cleansing and then our support in helping you in the last week reintroduce the foods that we remove because what we find um, is um, I will, we haven't talked about this as a, a weight loss block blocker today, but there are certain foods that cause intolerances that are a block to overall health and weight loss. So we remove them from the breakthrough diet um, and then we help you reintroduce them. So the last week's about that and educating you on macronutrients. And we've got a fantastic interview actually with a nutritionist on macronutrients as well in that last week. Um, yes, you, Glee, you throw away the water. You not only throw away the water, but you absolutely rinse it off all the lentils it's really important to get rid of all those yeah. um, anti-nutrients and toxins and rinse them away rinse them as much as you i rinse about three times yeah you can water, <gasps> the, you can water the garden with it if you don't want to waste water that kind of thing yeah yeah um, Put it on please your ask the question about polyunsaturated fatty acids um about not eating them because of the estrogen aspect and you're right in terms of we need a good balance. So you need your omega threes. You need your you do need omega sixes. Your polyunsaturated fatty acids. So you do need them in nuts and seeds and things like that and, and vegetables. But you just need to make sure you're balancing it out with other fats as well. And that's the problem with um, almond meal actually, because almonds have a higher ratio of omega threes to omega six, um, higher ratio of omega sixes to omega threes. When you're eating almond meal. You actually don't know how many almonds are in there. So you can easily overdose. So you know all these yeah. paleo recipes using almond meal all the time? Mm -hmm. No, that's probably what you were reading about. Not a good idea. A little bit, you know, is, is okay, but just be mindful of that. You yeah. just don't know. When it, once it's ground up, there's hundreds of almonds in there potentially. So um, where does dairy fit into the picture? So on the cleanse, Rebecca, that is one of the trigger foods that we actually remove. Um, in day-to-day -day life, if you're eating good quality grass-fed dairy, then it does have its benefits um, for the whole family. But And it can um, interfere with weight loss as well. So it's just one of those things that we do remove uh, for the three weeks and then we carefully introduce um, in the form of sort of white cheeses, goat's yeah. cheese, feta cheese. That's one food. of the group of foods. Uh, this is kind of like our, our, what, we, what we focus on as a group of foods that we do remove because we know that they have a huge impact on stubborn weight and that's one of the foods. Uh, any more questions, guys? Well, well, you've got us <laughs> before we go and eat. <laughs> before I go and eat, and then an afternoon full of clients, actually. So, yeah. Um, so, I might um, walk first. And so, hopefully, all those tips. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Naomi, to introduce a little walk sounds beautiful because the sun's come out and the sky's blue. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, hopefully those three tips uh, will help everyone get started and, and they'll start to see some benefits uh, to their stubborn weight. But, but there are so many components and we go through them all in the Back to program and, and, and to help you actually break through your own health barriers and your own weight loss barriers because it's just not as simple as diet and nutrition and counting calories. It just doesn't, you, you know, the reason you're here on this webinar is because that probably hasn't been working for you. So do, do keep that in mind. I think we've got some more questions. So yes. Tracy, yes. Do you want to do Emily's question? And Tracy, yes, we, um, we do have vegetarian choices yeah. because we, it, we know it's important. So there are vegetarian choices. Obviously the green smoothies are vegetarian. A lot of the salads are vegetarian. And then we do have main meal options for vegetarians as well. So the, the recipes themselves are easily adapted to be vegetarian, but then we've actually added on some extra recipes specifically for vegetarians as well. So we have lots of vegetarians join our program and we've had lots go through it over the last three years. So can, em Emily's asking, can you just run through again what happens when getting started on the yeah. Breakthrough Program? Okay. What's that? What's bugging you? No, the mosquito. Yami, what's bugging you? I didn't want to murder it in front of everyone. <laughs> um, so as soon as you sign up, um, Emily, you'll get an induction booklet, and that helps you to start to focus on reducing certain things um, in order to reduce your detox symptoms. So you'll get that as soon as you uh, sign up, and you'll also get your first week of recipes and information and interviews and all that sort of thing. Plus your goals, like the, we really want to help you focus on, and we give you the goals that we want to want you to focus on every week. So, th is that what you mean, getting started? So, and joining the Facebook group, and yeah, you know, we've got so information the there also that helps you know that what you to through. do. And Sorry, I'm talking over you. You get the induction booklet, and I think you were saying that run you, runs you through what to swap out, what to swap in, what to change up, and then you get a meal plan, and you can start prepping for the meal plan. Um, I think that's what, what, what. Oh, oh that's so How funny with the coconut them? flour. Coconut flour is okay. You know, there's nothing. Look, if it, we we obviously go low snacks on the breakthrough program. We talk about getting your macronutrients balanced and really making it so your meals support you. However, some people do need snacks. So we say, you know, pop in a snack time, a morning or an afternoon, have a snack time and have it designated. Know that at three o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to sit down and have a cinnamon tea with a snack. If that snack happens to be something you've made at home that's low, low, you know, low refined carb, low sugar, and it's got some coconut flour in, that's fine. If you're having tons of it, you know, three paleo snacks a day made with coconut flour. That's, 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 it, it's the amount. It's, it's really, like with anything, it, it is, it is the amount that you have. Um, um, so Emily says, I'm not a fan of social media. So is it all on Facebook? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. So what happens is when you sign up, you get emailed eBooks. So there's Five, I think there's five ebooks that you'll receive over the four weeks. Okay, so all the information is in there and all the links you need to click are on there. So you don't have to have Facebook, it's just such a great added bonus if you don't mind social media. So, no, it's, it's these ebooks that you'll receive and you'll have forever. Basically. And the webinar will get sent to you as well by email. Yeah. So, the links are all sent to you by email. Everything yeah. you don't need Facebook at all. No. Um, we've actually got a few people without Facebook, so, um, that's fine. yeah, so I send, I actually, still be part of it. what were you going to say? Sorry, I said Naomi. I sent out an email to everyone this morning, just saying, if you're not a member of Facebook, email us and just let us know. So then we uh, know you, we know you have a yeah. not on Facebook. And so we just yeah. keep you involved and, and we know, you know, just keep you feeling like you're keeping up to date with everything. Esther asks, what's a great green smoothie you recommend with no fruit? I'm struggling to find any others that don't include sweet potato. I like this, but would look, I'm not saying no fruit. I'm just saying more vegetable to fruit ratio and probably, and the fruit that Naomi and I choose to use and we recommend on the program are things like um, green apple 
and berries are probably the best to use. I mean, going moving once you're finished with the cleanse, like whatever's in season, and like I'll use pawpaw or a bit of pineapple and things like that. But my smoothie, I don't like sweet smoothies because I've been having them for so long and I've weaned myself off the sweetness. Um, they're full of like things like ginger or cinnamon. Or, vegetables are like um like i mentioned a bit of baby spinach and some cucumber and i mean there's so many combinations we've got so many smoothie options on the program and there's some you know some people get their favorites for sure um yeah. and the cleanse one is nice i think that's got cucumber and some cos lettuce but the green apple is beautiful i think it's just got like half a green apple so it's yeah it's very low Pop in, pop in a whole green apple if you need to. I mean, there's so many benefits as well to having a whole fruit like that in your in your smoothie. So just just be careful not to have like three bananas in there, you know, or two bananas even. So yeah, because a lot of people do they they'll put in a, you know a whole banana and then mango and then yeah other and, and berries the and then it sort of like defeats the whole purpose really. So. Um, yeah, so I need to. Oh, well, of course, we've got a question about chocolate. <laughs> it oh, wouldn't be. I a, had, well, aren't you I cleansing, had, I, I remember I bought that last night for everyone. I, see, I, I noticed it's still. Oh, it's not closed. <laughs> oh, Naomi! <laughs> I don't have a car today and it just didn't work out. No food. Oh, oh it was oh, terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, no. So I've just been munching on that. 85% dark chocolate or the one that Naomi just flashed up is a much better option and you know, it's got a lot less sugar mm. than this, you know, the non-dark chocolates or the 70% dark chocolate. I eat 90% dark chocolate but nobody else in the family can, can oh, stomach that. Yeah. I buy the 85 because it's a little bit more palatable yeah. for the lint night 85 90 is so low low sugar so as a little treat or you know if you if you had as a snack if you were to have one square of that dark chocolate with a, a couple of almonds you know that could possibly work and that's uh, pro not when we're cleansing though not we're when trying we're cleansing, to we're no gonna, no yeah, yeah. but just just in a, a, every day and it depends on you know, it depends on what you've got going on with your health and your weight loss, you know. If you're having, you know, two squares of dark chocolate a day and you're finding you're not losing weight, you know, that could be the reason. Some people are more sensitive to certain things than others, you know. We've all got that annoying, you know, girlfriend who never puts on weight but can eat a whole bar of chocolate. Doesn't mean she's healthy. Doesn't mean she doesn't have visceral fat around her organs. But, um, yeah, it can be frustrating because we've all got, we all know that, friend and you know they can get away with that so Lindell asked, asked a question is sparkling water okay during the cleanse now I actually like specific sparkling water when it's natural like your Capri from Australia because I was told off by Alex Stewart I think it was because I, I, do, for that, promoting. I, do, I do the um I do the San Pellegrino but it's from Italy. yeah <laughs> Yes, and I, I, I told you that she wasn't happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> because it has but people over here. The whole, so um, if it's natural, you know, the best water you can drink is obviously spring water, whether it's still or sparkling, naturally, natural spring water because it's got lots of minerals in. Not the soda water and not water that's been just mineral water that's, say, the shop's own mineral water because that's not your natural sparkling. It has to be a natural um, and I think that's using the soda stream using tap water is fine. Like I've, I've okayed that because um, a lot of people have the soda stream and it, all it does or is... Or filtered you know, water. Oh, oh, sorry, Emily. Yeah, she says tap water. Can you, do you have access to filtered water at all? Um, you know, if not, that might be something that... We guide people on the best filtered water yeah. systems on the program, don't we? Rebecca asks, uh, toasted nuts okay? So... In an ideal world, unless you're just eating a handful of nuts a day, sort of cashews because they're most easy to digest, or, or seeds, you'd be soaking, activating your nuts. Um, and, and we talk about that in the program. We understand that not everybody has the time or the energy or the dedication to activate nuts. You can certainly buy them activated, but they're quite expensive. Um, and the second best thing to do is like lightly toast your nuts in the oven, like roast them. So that does um, get rid of some of the phytic acid and all those things that inhibit digestion. So um, 
that way you miss the step of soaking them overnight. So yeah, toasting your nuts are a better way to eat them actually than not toasting them. Because once you, once you, even if you soak them overnight, you need to rinse them off the same way as I suggested with your grains and then slowly dry them in the oven. On you want like it to be a low temperature, yeah. 50 degrees for the whole day. So hope that helps answer your question, Rebecca. Um, and we hope to see a few of you on the Breakthrough Program. We're inside that there now. As soon as we jump off this webinar, I'm going to go into the Facebook group and see if any questions have been posted since I last popped in there this morning. Is there anything else? Thanks. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for being here, everybody. Right, that was great. Thanks so much. Some great questions, wonderful questions. So thanks so much for all of that. Naomi, I've had... I can't tell you a ton of emails from people saying, oh, my God, we want a replay. We can't make it. We're working. So we said we weren't going to do a replay of this, but you and I can go and have a little chat about that and see what we decide yeah, to do. Yeah, just in case, because I got a couple of emails as well and I felt bad. Yeah, um, desperate I, did, I know. I did record. I didn't live stream on Facebook, though, because I couldn't get it onto the business one. And then we had all the issues with the camera, so I just thought, oh. Um, oh no too hard too hard oh, but look you know i made it on onto the video <laughs> and I we didn't get you, it oh yeah i mean i'm glad we got to see you yeah. i'm glad we got to see you thank you everyone for being here thanks and for, um lovely having you all here and that was great love all the questions you. thanks for all the interaction love yeah, to yeah. have a square of my chocolate before i start the cleanse properly tomorrow <laughs> And I'm going to go have my salad, good guy, bad guy. I'm going to go have my salad for lunch with my chicken and avocado. Oh. Enjoy your lunch, everybody. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. Bye.